Welcome back everyone to tutorial number 15 and in this video we are going to get started with the angular part of the video player application and in particular we will start with angular routing. So we will create the different components and set up the corresponding routes along with the UI to navigate to those routes. Now if you recollect from the demo application from video number 4 we are going to have two main components a home component and a video center component. Now the home component can be anything to be honest but we will just add a banner that says video player and in the video center component we will display the video list and their details. So the first step is to create the two components and again we will be using angular CLI for this. So open command prompt in the ng app folder which is our project folder and run the command ng g c home. Now this is the angular CLI command to generate a component. G stands for generate, C stands for component and home is the name of our component. Now similarly we are also going to create a video center component. So ng g c video center. So the angular CLI command creates two folders in the app folder. One for each component. So if I navigate inside the source folder within the app folder we should have a home folder and a video center folder. Within the home folder, we have all the files related to the home component and within the video center folder, we have all the files related to the video center component. Now our next step is going to be configuring the routes to these two components. So open app routing module. Now I'm going to copy paste the routes and explain what the routes are. So now we have three paths. The first path is an empty path and we redirect it to the home path. And what is the home path? It is nothing but rendering the home component. And similarly, for the videos path, we are going to render the video center component. Now, we have the red squiggly here because we need to import these two components. So import home component and import video center component. So now our routes are set up. In the app component, let's add the UI to navigate to these routes. Now again, for styling, we will be making use of bootstrap. So first, let's add that to this project. Open command prompt and in the command prompt, I'm going to run the command npm install dash dash save bootstrap. And in angular cli.json file, let's tell angular to use this bootstrap as well. So over here in angular cli.json, navigate to styles and just below styles.css, we are going to include the path to, to bootstrap. So this is going to be the path, all right, I'm not getting this right. There you go. So this is the path to bootstrap CSS. Now let's go back to app.component.html app and create the UI. So over here in app.component.html, right now we just have the title. And again, I'm going to copy paste code and explain what that code does. So let me copy and paste it. All right. So first, we have a bootstrap class again navbar inverse container fluid navbar header navbar brand and we just want a video player that refreshes or doesn't target anywhere and then we have again some more bootstrap styling and this is where our code comes or angular code is written so we have a button or an anchor tag that's that says home and when you click on that you go to the home path and the home path is nothing but rendering the home component and similarly we have another anchor tag that displays the text playlist and when you click on playlist it is going to go to videos path and what is the videos path it is nothing but rendering the video center component all right now we are ready to test the routing feature but first we need to execute ng build command again because we have modified our angular application so go back go back to command prompt and run ng build now that our build is complete let's go to the browser and, and test this so localhost colon 3000 
So there you go, we have the navigation bar. We have our brand video player. When I click on this, basically nothing happens. And then we have the home text and playlist text. Basically these two are links. Now when I navigate to just localhost 3000, we are navigating back to localhost 3000 slash home. And that is how home works. So this is the home component text. Now when I click on playlist, it says video center works and the URL gets updated to slash videos. So if you check over here in our routing module, we have a home path and a videos path, corresponding home component and a video center component. When there is nothing, it gets redirected to home component. So nothing gets redirected to home, playlist goes to videos and home goes to home. And home component gets rendered, playlist component renders video center component. All right, in the next video, let's add more code to the home component and the video center component. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.